all right guys you are welcome to our next tutorial on the object detection stroke computer vision terminologies don't forget that the reason for this tutorial series is for us to be able to understand some of the important terms that we often come across in computer vision stroke object detection literatures and we believe that if we can have a full grasp of these important uh, terminologies it will speed up the rate of our understanding of research papers that are in this field so today we'll be looking at the ROI pooling layer uh, the word pooling should be familiar if you have taken studies on deep learning uh, convolutional neural network. So, but in object detection, you have a similar idea and it is called Haro High Pooling Layer. Or sometimes also called arrow high max pool so the arrow high starts for region of interest and uh, the pooling is uh, like taken from the max pooling that you have in a convolutional neural network where you actually have uh, is a filter that a filter or a kernel that you convolve around you slide uh, across a feature map and at every of the filter uh, sites you pick the maximum uh, value so it essentially the pooling reduces the size of your future map so the ROI pooling layer is just a type of max pooling that you have in convolutional neural network now but in this case the pool size is dependent on the input size that's the difference between the arrow high pooling layer in object detection compared to max pooling in convolutional neural network so in this case the pool size is dependent on the input size uh, what does that mean we'll see that shortly so doing this ensures that the output is always of the same size uh, and uh, the reason is the fully connected layer always expects the same input size uh, input regions to fc layer may have different sizes okay so the input of ROI layer will be the proposals and the last convolutional layer activations so let's see an example here that will make things clear it's easier to explain with a with a picture so we have our input layer uh, input image we pass it through a set of convolutional layers which extract the features then we have our feature map as the output of our convolutional layers and this feature map will be of arbitrary sizes for instance in this case we have three feature maps 
as the output of our convolution. One of them is 16, another is 4, another is 256. So, in order to be able to fit this into the fully connected layer, we need a fixed length representation. How we use another resource to better clarify what is happening from this place into this fixed length. So now let's use this. Now the goal of the ROI pooling layer is to take part of the activation map of variable size and convert it into a fixed size okay so for instance if a harrow high pulling size is of size five by four and we want a target activation map which is of size two by two now, what we will do is that we will divide the ROI pooling size by the target output size, which in this case will give us 2.5 by 2. Now, we do a ceiling and a floor of this 2.5, since this is not an integer. So we have 3 and 2. So some of the uh, cells we now have three by two size, others we have two by two. Then just like we do in max pooling, we take the maximum of each cell. It's still like vague, but let's see it in a diagram. Now this is what we have. From here, in a I'm going to show okay so from here from one a one to h eight is our future map. That's our feature map. Now, let's say we now take an harrow high pooling of size 5 by 4. So, in black is a arrow high size. Just like you have in a convolutional neural network, you can choose your kernel size. And say your kernel size is maybe 3 by 3 or 2 by 2 so if you take a kernel size that is 2 by 2 it will be like this so the height is 2 the width is 2 so in convolution in max pooling you take this 2 by 2 you slide it on this you take the max then you slide it based on the stride maybe stride 2 you slide it here you take the max but well, this is slightly different in this case you have an ROI of size 5 by 4 you want your target to be 2 by 2 that is your output to be 2 by 2 so what you do now is you now divide this 5 by 4 by the 2 by 2 then this will give you some to be 2 by 2 while the others will be 3 by 2 so now we have this ROI size of 5 by 4 divided into this 4 grid then we can now begin to take normally the way we take our max pooling so we take the highest number in this cell which is this 
we take the highest number in this cell which is this we take the highest number in this cell which is this we take the highest number in this cell which is this okay all right so this gives us two by two let's say now that i now move this by a stride of uh if i move this to the right by a stride of let's say a stride of uh two so if i move it by a stride of two what will happen is um and to get something different from there so i can show you graphically so okay so let's pick uh, a different color so if i move this ROI side by stride of two, that means I will jump by two. So from here, it will start from here. And this will now cover additional two here. Okay. So this will be my new arrow high position. It's still five by four. Then I will divide it again based on my output size, which I want it to be two by two. And I divide it, some of them will be three by two. This will be three by two, three by two, some will be two by two. Then I will take the max of this place, which is 0 0.99. I will take the max of this place which in this case will be 0 0.97. I'll take the max of this place, which is still 0 0.93. And I'll take the max of this place, which will be 0 0.68. By the time I do that, I'm still going to get this fixed of two by two. So that's essentially what is happening there. The RI pulling layer is similar to the max, the difference is that, that the RI pooling works with inputs of variable size. You see, this is three by two, three by two, this is two by two, this is two by two. But then it eventually gives us a fixed size. But max pooling works with a fixed size only. So that's essentially what's happening. And because of the invention of the ROI pooling, that is the major speed up that makes the fast RCNN better than the previous ones. So that is ROI pooling. Uh, kindly let me know what your understanding is with this ROI pooling. And hopefully this will have added uh, uh, clarify some of our understanding of what ROI pooling or ROI max pooling is all about and the reason for which it is being used is for us to be able to uh, work with the fully connected uh, layers. Another important one which we'll consider uh, uh, next is the ROI align which is used in max RCNN. But ROI pooling is using a, a faster RCNN, fast RCNN. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you for listening. Uh, hopefully to see you in the next one. And thank you.